We are going to go ahead and work on the color renders, what I also refer to as shadow and highlights. And what I'm basically doing is in Procreate, I've got my color flats layer. I'm going to create another layer that will go above the color flats layer, but definitely below the inked artwork. And the reason for this is the color render is basically going to add the, uh, the volume or the dimension to the color flats. So one thing you want to do is take the selection tool, set it to automatic, make sure you don't have color fill selected. And when you click on the color flat, you'll notice it selects just that color. And that's what we want. So from there, I'm going to switch to my brush and you can see the selection has been made and that is made on the color flat layer. Make sure you don't do your renders on that layer, switch to a color render layer. And then as I begin to determine, you know, what I want to use for like a shadow color on her face, I will be able to just uh, be able to paint or render within that selection area without having to worry about spilling out into other parts of the drawing or outside the borders, which is a really nice thing. And so the uh, color selection here, again, was done on the color flats layer, but then I'm now going to start to render in the color render layer that I've set up. So let me get a, a, the appropriate brush here. Um, let's just grab something. Again, I'm just demoing this here showing you what it looks like. Now I'm going to make sure I'm on the right layer, color render layer over my color flats layer. And then let's just go ahead and try to uh, add some values here. And um, the nice thing about this again, as I mentioned, is you're just really working within the selection. You don't have to worry about the lines going out or crossing over, like let's say into your collar area, which is part of her costume or the background and see that right there, I made mean, a heavy stroke and it only uh, was contained within that selection, within the, the color render set, uh, layer. So let me undo that. Again, make sure color render is over and that's the layer you are working on, not your color flats. So. Let's undo that and let's just go ahead and just do a little more rendering just to give you a, a more complete picture of how this works in, in real time as I do this here. Uh, my brush is stuck. That's weird. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to keep rendering here, um, making sure I'm kind of, you know, I'm not really doing any blending at this point. In fact, when I do my color renders, I might smudge a little bit, but again, these are two different layers. Again, the color render layer is above the color flats layer in Procreate. And so this allows me to use, you know, the minimum two layers. Sometimes I do go into more layers depending on the effect or texture I'm trying to uh, create, uh, depending on what part of the illustration I'm doing. So the cool thing is that everything is again is contained within the selection. And you notice in the background, there are these uh, horizontal the horizontal uh, diagonal lines that is the area that i'm not able to paint in and uh, or render in so you know as i kind of figure out what i want to do here for the painting it's a nice uh, kind of like uh, i don't know like a nice way to approach the illustration or the coloring part of the drawing because um again i don't have to worry about my marks going outside that line i can just strictly focus on getting the, shading or the highlights and the shadows and the renders for the section that I'm working on here. So as I, I kind of just give you an idea of how I render here, uh, this is again a page I've done already, but for this, for the, the purposes of this video, showing you again in real time how I go about, I kind of pick my colors using the color wheel there um, and then adjusting my brush and then just painting here. So this is what it looks like when you have your selection made and I start rendering, color rendering over those color flats. So as I continue to go through this here, I'm tweaking some colors and uh, uh, it's, it's, it's funny, this is not actually even close to the final image that I did for this, for this page, which is part of my comic book strip, The Realm Ethereal, which you can read online for free, by the way, at my website. Just go to reneeariola.com, check it out there for free. And, um, but it is just giving you again, you know, an accurate view of what I do when I'm working in Procreate. 
getting my renders in place. So let's go ahead and uh, pick the color for the whites of her eyes and decide if I want it to be cool. Um, or rather, not the whites of her eyes, for the blue for her eye, for her iris. So let's get that detail painted in there. Um, so maybe we need just a little bit of a highlight. And uh, I'm not really making this pretty <laughs> the way I normally do. Uh, although this doesn't look bad, but you know, that method of rendering is totally up to you. I like my renders over my flats to, for my comic books, to have kind of a, kind of a, I don't want to say a rough look, but not necessarily something that looks super polished and airbrushed, because they do like to have some kind of variation in the brushwork. Uh, not, not to the point where it looks maybe like too impressionistic or, or too unrefined but again it just depends on the style and this happens to be the style that I kind of gravitate toward when I'm working on my own my own colors so let's see let's add some color or some shading to the color of her costume so again selection tool set to automatic and uh, make sure you don't have color fill selected uh, when you do click on it, it will automatically select that on the color flat layer. Just make sure you switch to the color renders layer. And just go ahead and uh, paint, you know, add, add some more variation and value. There again, you know, just showing how the selection works in the color render layer. Make sure you're not in the color flats layer. Make sure you're in the color render layer so that you can you know, keep all of the mark making strictly within that selection. So just kind of playing around here, adding some, uh, you know, some different values, adding some texture, if you will. Um, let's see, a little bit of a highlight, or reddish, purplish. Yeah, it just shows you some variation there. Kind of just making it pop. And um, that's pretty much it. My color renders on this piece. Uh, that is how I do that part. Look here, uh, let me turn my layers on. Um, let's see, here's color render layer. Actually, let me push that off to the side. Show you here color render, what it looks like without the color render. So that on the color flats, that's what it looks like without the color flats. So you can see how much the render affects the overall uh, overall look of the final colors on the figure here on the head so that's it that's how i do my color renders in procreate <laughs>